Nice. Are we going to see something on the screen here? Is it just staying with that? Just the lens light. Am I on? No, but the, vi the visual? Yeah, I just, I, I'm just checking to make sure everything's looking good so that... Hey, so sorry we're so friggin' late. Um... Technical difficulties there. It's uh, frustrating sometimes, isn't it? But if you're hanging in and waiting for me, thank you. I apologize. Sorry about that. Okay. What we're going to do today is we're going to do some Metallica. I had a request for some, uh, the intro lick to Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, we're going to continue on with our beginner soloing. Hope you've been noodling around. Have a couple drinks. We're going to have some fun. And then I'm going to catch the Leaf game after we're done here. All right, friends? <laughs> no rush though, but I do apologize for, for being late. Damn. Okay, we're going to try and get our, our deal. That's why I only got one camera going tonight so I can try and deal with the lags that we've been having because it was a little behind. So I think we're getting closer. I think we're getting closer. Okay. To start off with tonight, my friends. We want to get loosened up. You want to noodle around a bit. So we've had a few lessons here now, right? We've had two lessons so far. This is our third, and I want to thank you all for viewing this on all platforms. I'm getting around a thousand viewers, like right, right, yeah, right off the bat. So that's awesome. So there's a thousand of you watching, even though you may not say there's a lot on whatever platform you're watching on. There's more on others. You're all out there, and I appreciate you all. Um, as that's what I'm doing a request tonight, as I said, for Sweet Home Alabama, some Leonard Skinner, some old rock and roll. Um, my dog is up. He's really old. He can be annoying. So that's him. If you can hear him clicking around, I apologize as well. And Twisted Penguins is in right on, buddy. So I'm saying there's more of you here, my friend. You're the first one. You're the first one here, brother or sister, Twisted Penguins. I'm not sure what's going on there, but cheers. Cheers. Then make sure you subscribe. And if you hit me up, you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe right back. So we're going to work on our solo noodling, but we want to get warmed up a bit, right, my friend? So great way to get warmed up is that really cool little scale, that uh, E minor G scale. And if you've been with me since the first lesson, then you know that we should be starting to do... Thank you for following at Twisted Penguins. No, oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Right on. So there's one scale we were working on. We noodled around with. Uh... There's another one that we've been working on. Uh, I just had an echo going on here. Sorry about that. Um, so that's in. Uh... You can add nice little uh, vibes onto those when you're noodling along. Excuse me. Uh, so those are some things to get warmed up with. And noodle away on that, my friends. Great warm-up. So what we've been doing uh, is working on... The best way to start soloing is to jam with a rhythm, of course. And right now we're relying on ourselves. We're going to bring in some click tracks, some backing tracks eventually. Um, but our soloing journey has just begun. So... That's the rhythm we want to keep in there. I remember we threw a riff in. Lord Flames. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's Quinn. Hi, Quinn. How you doing, pal? Hope you're doing well tonight. Rock and roll, buddy. Rock and roll. Everybody check out Lord Flames' channel for video gaming excellency. On YouTube. Yeah, his logo is pretty rad, too. Okay, Quinn. Take care, buddy. It's nice for you to stop in and say hi. There goes Quinn. All right, that is the quicker version of what we were working on. Putting a riff in between. Now, here's the cool thing about it. If you have a, a other riff that you're comfortable with, or if you're very, very new at this, and you just want to go... Uh, 
that's that's pretty cool, right? All I'm doing is putting the low E or like the the E minor. And I, I like to do it with one finger a lot. That's from when you play in a band and you're like You wanna be able to access that really nastily. And if you're in the if you drop D your first string, which mine isn't, it records like that as well, right? So excuse me, put any kind of riff you want in there. Um even like a Okay, that's key, my friends, for your soloing, your soloing improvements, that whole, that, and going back to a riff. So back in lesson one, we started with muting on the third or the fifth. All right. So keeping a human metronome. So we're, rel we're relying on ourselves for the rhythm at this point, my friends. Now let's add another, let's, let's take this up another step. As I say, I like to take things up in steps here, learning off the last one, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is add something pretty simple. All I'm doing is doing quick hammer-ons, okay? Using the open string first. Okay, now I'm starting on the A string, five to seven, then the D string, five to seven. It's simple and it sounds really rad. Now what we're gonna do with this one, so at the end of it, I like to put that meaty Van Halen type uh, open um, D and G in there, like you know. So when we come out of that little noodle there, you're gonna lead to it because you end on the D string anyway. Make sure you get the opens on those. That's what gives it that snap. And I'm gonna go over our finger tapping how to quiet that down as well. So the, the same technique is you just mute it a bit and loosen it off and find that sweet spot. And once you do it enough, you just... <laughs> Excuse me, you can hear me opening it up, like lifting my palm, right? Actually sounds like I'm hitting the volume knob, but I'm not. I'm just I'm just releasing my, my mute. Which is also a great way to get your, your metal chug in there, right? Okay. We're gonna slow this down, my friends. If you can get it to two counts. One, two, three, four, or four, I guess, right? One, two, three, four. 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 Okay. And that that and then and from there, man, you're just like. Super fast, right? Tag that in there. Okay. So take your time with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's so dry in here. I can't wait to get outside. Fresh air, spring, right? Okay, as we normally do, I'm gonna have a drink, sip of my drink while you practice, my friends, okay? And I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the world, in my world, not much, not much. I've uh, been trying to listen to new music, but I just, I keep going back to old music. There's so much old music I enjoy. I've been listening to a lot of old 70s soul. I love the guitars in the 70s soul too. You know, it's just really, really nice music. All right, sip my drink. So I'm having a hard time finding new music that I really, really enjoy. Um, I'm an 80s kid too, right? A little bit of the 70s, a lot of the 80s, whole lot of the 80s in there. So I love my 80s tunes, which is always a lot of fun. There's a lot of riffs you can learn in the 80s that are fun to like punk out kind of thing, you know? Make them a little more rockier than normal. A really fun one that I like to do is... Uh... No. I never meant to be so bad to you. It was one thing I said I'd never do Well, look from you and I would fall from grace That would wipe the smile right from my face Nice! Now my dog's gonna make a jump for it. He's uh, almost 19 years old, right? Yeah, almost 19 years old. Yeah, super dog. Yeah, he's like super old, man. Or is he almost 18? I'm getting No, I was almost 18, I think. Anyway, he's like really old. So sorry about that. 
So that's a fun 80s riff to do right there. Corey Clark says, rock on. Hey, Corey, how are you doing, buddy? Long time no see. Corey is a dear friend of, of mine and my family's. Corey was around when we had, um, when we needed a friend in a hospital setting and he was there. And again, uh, my wife and I both thank you for that uh, that time. Corey, not to get too personal on here, but it's, it's good to see dudes from back where uh, I used to live who meant a lot to me and my wife. Cheers, Corey. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, hope the little baby's doing well. I saw you got a little one now. That's great. That's great. All right. As I, yeah, Beans is here too. Yeah, wow, Tim really wants down. Huh? He's just like, I want down. I want in on this. My dog. Okay. Miss you too, Corey. If you're ever in Kingston, buddy, we're not that far away. If you're ever in Kingston, we're hitting green here on Wednesday. So we're back at it. Like COVID green. <laughs> it's always green in my house. But uh, we're going to hit the COVID green there, right? So, uh, yeah, party time. We're getting back out. I can go to the comic book store. I can go get new strings. Just walk in there casually and get new strings and take my time and then beans and yeah and some other things i can do i can't think for the top of my head but always good to, to hear and see from old friends okay folks here's what we got now so we're uh, we're doing that noodling right All right, now one of the main things that you want to do before, we were going a little longer. Taking our time with it. So what we're going to do is take it up that step that I was mentioning, all right? All right, we're keeping the beat. We're rocking on with our bad selves. And we're throwing in some cool little noodles, okay? All right, now what I'm going to do is this one's by request. Um, they didn't want to shout out or anything. They just really wanted me to teach this song. So here we go. This is uh, Sweet Home Alabama uh, intro noodle solo -y riff kind of thing, all right? So if we go through, my wife's diving to get the dog before he pummels off the couch. All right, we're going to skip all that. I'll just like... You're hammering on the A or the D. Then on to the G. And then it's an open G, second fret D. Now the other one, I'm just doing these quick because this isn't really what I was going to show. You're going to do a pull off. And then you're going to accent it with an open on the th on the second, the third, and the fifth. And on the fifth, you're just going to pull that sucker down. Do you know how to do a pinch harmonic? Man, that's hard to teach you online. Because, like, it's all positioning where your finger... It's like teaching a, a, normal, a normal harmonic. Because if I have a kid here, I can just take his finger and I'll just say, okay, pick the string. And I, I can hold his finger where it should be, and then you feel it. You feel the harmonic. Right? You feel you feel the vibration on the string where you should let it go. So a pinch harmonic is with this part. You got to curl in with your yeah, thumb and finger. It's hard to teach over here. So okay, those are the quick noodles. Here's the part that I was that I that I had by request. Okay, since we're doing some southern rock here, I better have a, a shot of my vodka and ginger ale. I don't know how southern that is, but. Uh, and I noticed that a vodka and ginger ale is just a vodka and ginger ale. So I'm, I'm taking it back and I'm renaming it a Swiss Nizzler. So if you want to be with the inn and you want and you want a vodka and ginger ale, you ask for a Swiss Nizzler, my friends. And you tell them Christmas Shetty sent you. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's our, our you, you recognize that if you're a little older. Maybe not, even if you're younger too. That's in a lot of cartoons now, isn't it, Lonnie? You see that in a lot of the mainstream movies and cartoons. All right, by request, here you go, my friend. What we're doing. Here I'm doubling up the strings there, and that's a cool old blues. A 
circles, two middle strings, right? I should have to do a lesson just on those two middle strings so you can get such cool crap out of that. Crap. Great. Cool. You can get such great stuff out of that. Sorry. I had such a hard time with all our digital stuff tonight. I, crap came out. Okay. Here's what we got. The chord structure C, or sorry, D. I like doing the suspended C there. And then the G, right? Now the rhythm. This is cool because we're just doing that straight blues deal that Zeppelin owns, right? Like... So we're going 7th fret, 8th fret, ninth fret. This is on the A string. Eventually we want to we want to hammer those on, right? But if you're practicing for the sake of practicing and this is slightly tough for you, which is fine, you're going to grab the two middle strings. They're just flat. Come back here to the ninth fret again. Tim's Roman. You know what else Tim's doing? Farting. Woo! Then we're going to come whoo, come down to the 5th fret. So the 7th fret. <sighs> Sorry, folks. I think he's got to go outside, maybe. I don't know, but wow. Uh, sorry. Hammer on from the 5th to the 7th on the A string. And then the same here. We just move up to the D and the G, but on the 5th. So, up to the 7th. Back to the ninth. Just cut out the middle one. Watch out for Beans. He's looking like he's going to jump. We have a cat that's making a run for it. I'm sorry. Take out the middle finger on this one. Tag that up. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stay on the A string. This is all rooted on the A string. You're, all, you're starting it all. Um, don't you try and sneak out. So what we're going to do is start with the open and go open, one, two. And then hit those two open strings that I was preaching on before that Van Halen liked to use. All right, so here's what we got so far. Notice the two string jam there. Go down two frets from there. Now the mistake a lot of my students is they'll go. They'll, they'll, they'll forget to go to the first because there's so much on. There's so much right there. Right there. So don't forget you're going down. Sorry, here we go. I know you were waiting for the money shot there, my friends. High five. Here it is. Here it is. So I'm on the G string, third highest. I'm anchoring on the 12th fret because that's where I'm going to end up, right? That's what I like to do. We're going to go up 12, 13, 14. I like to put my middle in there just to control it. Really, all I'm doing is this. Okay. Well, that's it. Bathroom Wall by Faster Pussycat. Sorry, I do that all the time. Uh, half, full, bring it down. And if you're a Faster Pussycats fan, yeah. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Buddy, there's a guy from high school. How you doing, Scott? Good to see you, bud. Thanks. I'm glad you're enjoying it. There's my dog. There's the guy that's causing troubles. Yeah, the dog's 17 or 18. Wow, well, I'm blanking on numbers right now for some reason, but that's my old dog, Beagle Jack Russell. I'm glad you're enjoying the tune. Scott, I hope you're doing well there. If you're still in Ingersoll, cheers, my friend. Right on. Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate that. So to finish off our uh, intro solo or intro noodle to Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner, here's what we got, my friend. It's going to go nice and slow. Up for the money shot, G string.
Now you're gonna notice I do a lot of sliding in between what I'm playing. All good in Ingersoll. Good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. Went to high school there. Most of my schoolings, early schoolings in Ingersoll. So hello, old friends in Ingersoll. Ingersoll. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> So there is, sorry, the slides, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love noodling on the 12th. Bitch in. Okay. So there, that's by request. And there you go, my friend. I, I appreciate you asking for that. Um, and I don't have to tell your name. I don't have to tell everybody your name. It's not about that. It's about the person learning the song that requested it. So you can personal message me on Facebook, on Twitter, on <coughs> excuse me, on Instagram, and you can request songs, and I'll play them. If you want me to give you a shout out, I will. If you don't, that's fine too. I can keep a secret. <laughs> All right, Swiss Nizzler, Vodka and Ginger Ale. Yeah, here we go. While you're practicing, while you're practicing. Yes, yes, yes. So. I was wondering, like, some of the... Oh, Brent. Brent's on tour. wants to hear some rat. Hey, Brent. Hi, Brent. Rat. What can I remember a rat other than lack of communication right now? Oh, I had it right up till the end there, buddy. Oh, I lost it at the end there. That was Lay It Down. Hmm? Lay It Down by a Rat. Yeah, good call on the Rat. Oh, man, I used to be able to play round and round, like, really, really well. And I just... One of the things about being a teacher is you learn these awesome songs, and then they get pushed out of your head because you're only... You learn them, you play them, then you move on to the next songs. Yeah, Lay It Down. That was it, buddy. That was Lay It Down. I screwed it up at the end. I used to know how to play all that. Good call. Brent knows Lay It Down. Rats. Yeah, radness. Um... Lack of communication. There's lack of communication. That's the one I was trying to voice. Just two chords. Um, what's another really good rat one? Oh, you think you're tough. Oh. Oh. Dang. I'm forgetting all these uh, really, really cool. Also a huge song on the Cobra Kai series. Really? Yeah, I, I got to get more into the Cobra Khan. One of my students is watching. Kai, one of my students is watching the heck out of it. Okay, you guys are practicing that lay it down riff. I or not lay it down. Way cool. Oh, I don't know. Way, way cool. You billion dollar babies. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That one off the top of my head, Scott. But that's a good request. I can do that next time. Um, the funny thing about Alice Cooper's music uh, is that they are. There's some great guitar and bass going on in those songs, man. He had some amazing musicians. Now I know in the '80s he got. Uh, some like the big muscle guy in there with the machine gun guitar and it got a little got a little floppy but um, Billion Dollar Babies is a great song I would love to teach that next week and break that down see if there's any cool little soloing licks I can show everybody that's a great choice because uh, Alice Cooper has some great musicians in their band uh, that's, that's, and th of course songs like that too recorded back in the day weren't recorded like they were today we had a discussion with uh, excuse me Jeff Pierce from Moist about that on our Kids in the Escalator uh, podcast, which this is a, a section of. Okay, folks. So we have done our little uh, continuing on our beginner soloing. What do we have left? Okay, we got some Metallica. Um, just, it's simple soloing, right? We're actually going to turn the distortion off for this one. We're going to do the intro solo to the first solo to the song One by Metallica. And then I am going to show my friends that are really catching on to this who uh, kind of can noodle a bit. I'm going to go on with our finger tapping exercise. I've always loved finger tapping. And with the passing of Eddie Van Halen, we got to keep it alive, my friends. You know what I mean? Um, there's less and less guitar solos and songs these days that I find. And we can't let uh, the way of the guitar, the way of rock and roll, the people who speak guitar, speak guitar, as I say, like just, you know somebody who speaks guitar when you talk to them. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's not just something uh, like notes and stuff. Those who know, know what I'm talking about. 
Righteous. So yeah, we're we're going to uh, do a, a wicked little uh, finger tapping solo, two handed finger tapping solo. I guess you know. Uh, just, yeah. Which ev- you know, every everybody knows how to play that. I hope that's my most requested song, though. Actually, although this song. That put, that put my kid through college. <laughs> kind of, but not really. But you know what? I, that's, that is my all-time most requested song is ACDC Back in Black. My favorite ACDC song or riff is... Love that one. Favorite Bon Scott? Criminals living in a human zoo. Animals, the shit that they toss to you. Feeling like a Christian, locked in a cage, thrown to the lions in a second page. If you want blood, you got it. If you want blood, you got it. Blood on the rocks, blood on the sky, blood in the something. If you want blood, you got it. I want you to bleed for me. Ah, that's a great one. That is my all-time favorite ACDC song, is If You Want Blood, You Got It. Song-wise, love it. Bon Scott, the whiskey-soaked voice of Bon Scott. Grew up to it. Uh-huh. And then uh, 1980, we had Brian Johnson come in. We did, we did, we did. Okay, let's uh, crank the distortion off. On mine, it's just a button. Now, when you take your distortion off your guitar, crank your volume down on your guitar itself. When you take the distortion off your amp, turn the volume down on your guitar. That's what I meant to say, okay? There's what we're looking for. So I'm just stripping this down. I didn't really work on my uh, clean sound at all. I don't even know what I got on there, if there's any. Nancy. Doesn't matter, any reverb rain. Okay. This is the intro solo uh, to the song One by Metallica. Again, one of my most requested songs, solo-wise for sure. Here's what we got. We're going to do those hammer-ons we've been working on. Now, hopefully you uh, picked up on hammer-ons in earlier lessons that I've done. If there's anything you really need to narrow down on, I've got, do we have a, 50 lessons online or 100? How many do we have on our YouTube? I don't know. We almost, I think we might have 100 lessons on the YouTube, Chris Machete Music. If, you're, if you want to zero in on things, it, again, if you're having any troubles with some of the soloing stuff, I don't have to name you online. Just request little things like hammer-ons. Because what we're going to do, we're going to start with the D string. We're going to hammer-on from the second to the fourth. Then we're going to move our first finger down or up, how you're looking at it, to the uh, G string. Second fret again. Now that, we did that earlier in Sweet Home Alabama. So these are, again, these are kind of like my beginner uh, mainstream songs that I teach. Like I teach these ones for beginners, even if they're not huge fans of the songs, they don't hate the song. Now, after we we reach the uh, second fret on the G string, we're gonna we're gonna take our our uh, ring finger in there, and we're gonna do a full bend. We've gone over these. Pull the string all the way up to the next note. Bring it back to where it was. Don't go down here. Stay there. It's a really nice little noodle right there. I like that one. Okay. Now what you're gonna do here. Now, what I like to do is break down things like this and have like a root to them or a root note. So what we've got, <laughs> excuse me, is the th- second and third fret on the B string, the second highest. You're going to anchor your first finger on the second fret because we're going to be pulling off with our middle finger. <laughs> he said pulling off on the third fret. Going back here to the fourth on the G, back to this root noodle, first finger. Two frets down from the fourth we were on there. 
then we just add an extra shot on the third okay so here's what we got <laughs> Extra. Okay, check this out. Again, really slow. My favorite part right here. Keeping your ring finger there, my friends. Bring it up to the 11th fret. So the best way to look at this, it's one before your double dots, right? Your 11. Anchoring your first finger on the 9th fret. This is all on the G string. Bring it down two frets to the 7th. Pulling off on the 9th this time. Bring it down one fret to the 6th. Anchoring on the 7th. Okay. So from here on the 4th fret. Double. From the fourth up to the eleventh, pull off to the ninth, move down, pull off to the seventh, move down one fret, pull off to the sixth, two four. That's nice, huh? I like that. That's great. So here we go again. Here's where we change it. fancy with it no don't get that fancy with it okay okay i'm gonna go over this solo with you one more time then i'm gonna have a drink and i'm gonna chat and you're gonna practice because you gotta practice how do you get to carnegie hall lonnie by practicing, by practicing. <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about on that one cheers because we're old and that's okay that's okay here we go folks sorry here we really go oh, actually check this out Hopefully you know that I'm not teaching the riff. But. Cool, huh? That's a nice solo. That's Metallica. It's huge, 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 hugely requested song over my two decades of teaching. That's a long time, man. That's a long time. But I love teaching. Teaching guitar is where it's at. Where it's at? I got one turntable and a microphone. And one drinks. Practicing while I yammer on here. Practicing. Leaf game's on. I gotta check out the Leaf game soon when I'm done here. Any other Leaf fans out there? Park... Parker Nelson, the trooper. Okay. Hmm. The trooper. I'm trying to, I love my maiden, but I'm just having to. Oh my gosh, that is a, Parker Nelson, that is a great one. I'm going to do that one next week as well. I always get that one confused with Aces High, which is another fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, Maiden song. Aces High is a great one. I love playing that. The solo on that one's great too. Um, see, that's the thing. I teach these wicked songs, then I blank on them. But I got two now. We're going to do Billion Dollar Babies. We're going to do some Trooper next week by Maiden. Now I'm hooked on playing that riff, riff Parker. Excuse me. Good call, buddy. Good call. I like that one. Okay, what are we doing now? What did I say we're doing now, Lonnie? You know, they're practicing. We'll have a drink, right? You know, okay, you guys all there? You got that metallic solo in there? Got two great requests for next week. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to teach you one more uh, dealy here. We're going to I'm going to show you for my, a little more of my high end students. We're going to do some finger tapping, and then uh, I'm going to watch the Leaf game. Yeah, grew up on the Leafs. Love the Leafs. Okay. Here we go. Last time, what I showed you. Throwing that open in there. First song that introduced me to hammer and pull offs. Nice, right on, buddy. That's cool, Parker. I like that information. <laughs> Excuse me. So the trooper. So you're not requesting the trooper. You just like the trooper, which is cool. Either. Or do you think I should? If you think I should teach it to uh, to the universe as we know it right here, man, I will totally do that because I was going to do that next week because that is that is a really good song for uh, for my uh, my students out there and my guitar players to learn. So yeah, I'd like to teach that one. If you have another one that you're having troubles with, let me know, of course. Um, so here, here is our, our neat so let me get my kiss dealy out of the way here sweatband we're not doing the sweatband we're doing this all uh, natural so no no band down here guys again my only problem that I did because I've been finger tapping since I was a kid like really young and I'm kind of old is that I don't use my middle I don't pick like this or right, no sorry I don't finger tap like with my middle finger that's what I should be doing I use my first finger, so anyway. So what I want you to do is this. This is this is really I like this one a lot. So the, the trick was using the open string after your first hammer on. I think you should, I know, but it's great introduction to harder songs. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we'll do uh We will do the trooper next week for sure, buddy. Well maybe that little noodle in there too. That noodle's cool for our beginner solos, man. I like it. Great introduction to harder songs. I agree, Parker. High five. Hope you're doing well. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back or whatever's going on. If you're on YouTube, I don't know if you have a channel, but uh, if you subscribe and like, I'd appreciate that, buddy. Helps me, helps me get more, uh, more uh, people filing in, and I can do more of these lessons if I can, if I can get a little more fans and a little more people watching it. Right, less in-house lessons I have to do, the more I can do on here, which I really enjoy doing. It's great, it's great. Okay, sorry. Here we go. So the whole finger tapping deal is the noise of it. Ooh, that's clean, my friends. Very clean. Tim's tapping in here. Lonnie will get him though. So that how clean is that, right? So what we what we were doing last time was moving it around a bit, perhaps. What I want to do today is give you a cool pattern. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Clean. So clean, right? That's what you're looking for. All right. I love this pattern because, again, like. Fast or slow, man? That's got some soul. Already subbed and liked. Thanks, Parker. You're a good dude, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Thanks, buddy. Um, okay. This is a great little formula here, folks. I'm just on seven and nine, five and seven, four and five. It's kind of similar to the pattern of the Metallica solo we did. Now, the cool thing about a lot of this stuff is when I teach you things like this or the Metallica solo, you're going to find new souls and be like, well, I already kind of know that riff or the pattern of that. It's just got a different vibe to it or a different kind of rhythm to it. So this is all gold, my friends, all gold. So check this out. Speed it up. Switch strings, which is key. You want some extra for the, uh, for the guitar players who are like, oh man, I got this, I got this. Switch strings, okay? So we're gonna go not to the high E string. Don't. That's too easy. There's no strings all around the high E string. You know, you know we want to do the ones that are surrounded by strings because we're trying to clean this stuff up. So we're gonna go uh, to a lower string, to the G string. Beautiful, right? How awesome is that? So simple, too. <laughs> now, the traditional way that Eddie did it, right? Like that, right? Which is really, really cool. <laughs> um, but we're going to throw that open in there. Any tips on learning scales? Oh, I know. That is like the question. 
What's the fun way to learn scales? Ah, oh, dude, man. They're... The only tip I can give you is once you learn them, the world is your oyster. That's just a tiny little scale, buddy. So, Parker, what I like to do when I'm learning scales is I'll sit there and, you know, learn it and learn a few. See, I already got bored with it and added a bend in there, Parker. Did you see that? Dang, right? So what, so then what I'll do is I'll, I'll unplug my guitar, sit in front of like the hockey game or a, or a Wicked Marvel movie or some Quentin Tarantino, and with my guitar off, dude, I'll just... So... So I'm not annoying anyone, and I'm really not playing it to hear it. I'm playing it to get... Uh, connection between my hand and my noggin because if you know from playing guitar as soon as you stop thinking about what you're playing you're playing it you know what i mean like you can't you can't if you're overthinking what you're playing you're not getting that you know or the you want that vibe that flow going through so learning scales is beautiful because Getting the feel for it, buddy. Just not thinking about it anymore. So that's why I like to detach the whole plugged in kind of feeling and, and listening to it and, and just, it, you're watching the hockey game. And then the next thing you know, you're playing the scales like this and you don't even like. Or I like to think of a different rhythm. Think of a song you like, like do, tss, do, tss, do, tss, do, tss. and start to jumble it around a bit. Um, those are all notes out of a scale, right? Yeah, you got it, Parker. So take your time with it. Detach the thinking about it. Because if you can play those scales without, you know, without thinking about it, hold on a conversation with someone when you're noodling around, you know, then you'll start to really groove Sorry, I don't know if you can hear what I'm talking over top. But my point is, I'm not showing off. My point is that when you detach the brain from that, beautifulness, beautifulness. Okay. Woo! Uh, sorry I was so late again today. Um, hopefully we can get this worked out. But I do notice that um, I'm synced up here a lot better. I hate the lagging. I'm really, like, as I say, if anything's wrong off the beginning, hang in there. I will show up. And if there's a problem with any kind of audio or video off the beginning, we will fix it or we're, we're trying to. Um, this is a, a segment from our Kids on the Escalator channel, right? And my producer for the whole segment is here. So we're always trying to work on things, all right? I want to thank you all for watching and, and for commenting. Um, it was great to, uh, great to have Scott chime in here. Nice to meet Parker. Uh, Brent chimed in. That was great. Corey Clark was in there. We got to see Quinn. Thanks, Quinn. Um, and then uh, there was the bass dude there at the beginning, the very first guy that came in there for a person. Uh, Twisted Penguins with a Z. Yeah, right on. Awesomeness. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Okay, folks. So um, next week, we're going to do a little bit of The Trooper from Iron Maiden. And we're going to do some Billion Dollar Babies by uh, Alice Cooper. So just to review what we did today, we added this. Cool little noodly riff. Oh, Panama. Oh. Van Halen, buddy. That's what I got on right now. Yeah. Eddie Van Halen is my... Uh... Oh, man. See, Van Halen, Eddie is my favorite musician. Not guitar player. Musician. Eddie is like, oh, our... Excuse me, our Kids on the Escalator... Yeah, he's up again. Our Kids on the Escalator podcast... Um, did, no, he's down. did a special on Eddie Van Halen because he's so near and dear to us. Yeah. Dude, Ed, uh, Van Halen. Such great tunes, pal. Such great tunes. From the level that we're doing here, I was thinking about... Um, uh, ain't talking about love because of the... Uh... There it is there, because the solo in uh, Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen. But Panama, oh, that's a tough one, but that's a good one, dude. We discussed that. Jeff Pierce from Moist was on the show, and he discussed how awesome of a song Panama is. It's just a great song, man. Good call. Van Halen. I am okay with Van Halen any time of the day or night. 
Um, so our noodle, we're hammering on. You can do it anywhere. It's the cool thing about these noodles, right? Get good at it. Put it in your rhythm. Jamming it, right? Use it anywhere. Remember, if we want to put a chord in there, just... Straightforward, my friend, straightforward. Okay, so now we're going to... Uh, we did the solo to Sweet Home Alabama. fans of, of no distortion or acoustic playing slow and then fairly uh, slow and then normal speed remember you turn the volume down on your guitar when you go clean and hit your nose I did that normal speed because it's really not that fast um, but that's a great one that, you can really hear the notes in that when you clean up your sound Buttes, buttes. Very last thing I taught was the finger tapping, right, Lonnie? Yeah, and this is beautiful, dude. This is smoking. <laughs> Anytime I've taught students this, man, they were like stoked. They use this a lot. This is great. Dudes and Ducessies. That's what I used to say on WKRP. One of my all-time favorite shows. All right, I'm almost on my drink here. So it was great to hang out with you folks. I probably love doing this stuff. It's great. So lots of people I chatted with tonight. Lots of viewers. I'm appreciating your love. Thank you. Keeping rock and roll alive is what I like to think of it as well. Keeping rock and roll alive since 2005. It's not when I was born or anything, but you know. Mm. So hope everybody's having fun out there tonight. If you're a sports fan and you're watching the Leaf game, right on. Go Leafs, go. Playing Vancouver again. Going to smoke them. Uh, this is on the Kids in the Escalator Network, and we have our full show on tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on, in Ontario side. Uh, so we have the Canadian uh, Kingston Film Festival, the, the dude running it, my buddy Mark, who also used to be uh, the main dude, uh, songwriter, guitar player, in I Hate Sally, one of my favorite bands, metal bands of all time. Um, I could get my, I, I'll get Mark on this show actually, and I'll, me and him and I will uh, do some harmonies, and we'll teach you guys some harmonies. So we'll get Mark from I Hate Sally on here at some point, and we'll uh, do some some harmony lessons with the guitars, which is always great. And then if you got a buddy over there, you guys can really start to try this stuff out. Guitar harmonies are sweet, dude. It's like like sugar to the ears, my friends. Sugar to the ears, right on. Okay, so that's what we got. So tomorrow night, check it out. Um, we do we do retro video gaming on Friday nights, which is cool too, and. And a comic book show and everything. I'm just laughing at all the animals here. Insane. Okay, folks. Cheers. Good times, rad dudes. And I'll just noodle out while my producer comes over here and shuts things off for me. Thanks, folks. Okay.